Hello everybody and welcome to Create Art Box. Um, this month we are doing a celebration for Chinese New Year. So we're going to see all some, some wonderful things um, associated with Chinese New Year. We've got lots of wonderful dragons that we're going to make and lanterns to do. So lots and lots of fun and excitement in here. Each year normally I take my children up to um, London to see the parade of Chinese New Year. So it's quite a shame that we're not going to be able to do it th that this year. However... I'm hoping that this box will fully make up for that and we'll have lots of fun and excitement together, along with you all as well. So inside our lovely Chinese New Year box, we have a whole host of activities to do. So you will find, the first thing that you'll find in your box is a list of all the activities. So there's pictures to go by this time, so it should hopefully help you all to know how things should and could look. So there's six activities to do. We're gonna, we've got scratch art, we've got a dragon puppet toy, we've got a lantern to make, some masks, we've got some modelling clay, and then of course we've got our live Zoom session together next week. So, inside your box should hopefully look a bit like this. I'm just going to move the pencils out of the way for a moment, and the first activity that we're going to come to is the clay modelling. Um, you will see a whole array of different act, um, different colours in here. I want you to use the clay and an abundance of your imagination to decide what it is that you're going to make. Are you going to make a Chinese dragon or are you going to make a bowl of delicious looking Chinese food and noodles and dim sum and chopsticks? Are you going to make some wonderful colourful Chinese hats? Or some lovely Chinese writing, like a little bit what you can see behind me here. The choice is completely yours. Do share what you make, because I do love seeing your creations. The next activity you will see is our scratch art. So you will need your scratch art tool. You'll see that there's a pointy end up here, so that you can use it a bit like a pencil or a crayon. We've got our scratch art itself here. And then you'll see that we have got a little black strip. It's black on one side and it's got a sticky tape on the other, so it's double-sided. Once you have created your beautiful artwork on here, whether it is dragon scales all over it to make it look like a real dragon, or your dragon is covered in hearts and kisses, or maybe your dragon has become um, a knots and crosses little game <laughs> that you can play with somebody else. The choice is entirely yours. But once you have completed it, peel off the white bit on the back, stick it somewhere in the middle, and then this becomes a magnet. So you can hang it on your on your fridge or your freezer, on your radiator, in your bedroom, anywhere that you would like. Or, ideally, you can then also pop it in an envelope and gift it to someone, and it can be their little present from you for Chinese New Year. Entirely up to you, but have fun and get creative with that one. Love a bit of scratch art. Great fun to do. Now, the next thing that you'll see screaming out of our box is our dragon mask. So you'll find your mask, which has got the hole punches in already, to then pop your elastic in once you have created it. Okay. You'll also find in your box, there's pencils as well as paints. So the choice is yours, which you're going to use to colour this. It's entirely up to you. You'll also find that there is some gems. We'll come to those in just a moment. And if you've got some left over from the other, other, other activity, oh, that's for words then, feel free to put them on here. Or maybe you'd prefer to put them on here than the other activity. But it's totally up to you. I will show you my little dragon mask that I created just to give you a bit of an idea of what you could do. Um, completed him with lots of different colours because that's the one thing about Chinese dragons is that they're so brilliantly colourful. So I've covered him in lots of different colours as well as some lovely sparkly gems. So now that he's dry I need to pop my elastic on him and then he's good to go. Okay so the next activity we're going to come to is our dragon puppet toy. So inside your box you'll find just going to move this out of the way so I can lift it out. You'll find a red piece of card, two lolly sticks, the gems that I was talking about, a dragon head, a dragon tail, two tiny little small tabs, and two larger tabs. Now, with this one, 
what we're going to do is we're going to start, I'm just going to pop all of those other bits and just keep the red card out for a moment. What we're going to do with this is we're going to turn it into a fan. So we're going to start by folding over one side, just a small amount. See that okay? And then we go back the other way. If any of you have ever made fans in the summer when it gets really hot out of paper, it's the same principle. So we go back one way and forward the other. And back one way and forward the other. And we're going to do that until we complete this whole piece of card. And the reason that we're doing that is because it makes it all lovely and springy so that we have got a wonderful looking dragon at the end of it. So just all the way up. Then you're going to colour your head and tail in. Okay, once you've coloured it in, it may look a little something like this. So can you see that all of those fans have gone, um, all the zigzags in there has made it all very springy-like. And I've taped my dragon head and tail to the card and to the lolly stick. Now, in order for you to do the same, you're going to take your piece of red card again that we were folding up and going to quickly finish the rest of this actually otherwise you don't get the full effect okay so once yours is colored in and it's all folded like a fan you're going to take the two small sticky tabs to hide in I'm going to put one on one side there okay and then I'm going to put the other on the other side the other end there and then we're going to peel them off because they are double-sided to reveal that stickiness and that bit off as well so nice and sticky and then we're going to stick the head to one side and the tail to the other side okay and then we're going to flip it over and then we're going to use the two bigger ones and we're going to stick one on here onto the red piece like that push it down so it's a bit squidgy and the same on this side so i've gone just slightly over the card over the red card so that it goes on to the head and tail as well just to give it that extra bit of strength then we're going to peel those off and stick on our lolly sticks. Press it on there and peel that one off and press it on there. And then we've turned it over. <gasps> We've got our dragon minus his coloured in head and tail. <laughs> There he is. So here is our wonderful puppet. We used to buy these every single year when we used to go into Chinatown because they're just so much great fun. So this year it's actually really lovely that we get to make our own. So along with you all. So do colour him in, make him come alive and look wonderful and vibrant and colourful and see what you're going to make with him. Are you going to perform a lovely puppet show for whoever's at home with you? using your dragon because he's a very cool puppet maybe you can make some little animal friends or people to go along with him the choice is yours so i'm just going to move this one out of the way because i need a bit more room because the next one is rather fiddly so the next one i'm going to take out carefully and this is our lantern so once you've taken it out, just be careful when you open it up because there's lots of little loose bits in here and we're just going to pop them all onto one side at the moment and then I'm going to talk you through exactly what we're going to do here. Okay, you'll see a red piece of card. Keep that safe because that's going to be your handle for your lantern. You'll find lots of lovely shapes and then some more sticky tabs. You should have 10 pieces in total. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do our lantern has been folded that way, just for ease of in the box. We're going to fold it this way. So fold it all the way down. And this is going to give our lantern its wonderful shape. 
once it's all connected together. Okay, so we're going to fold it down like that. So it's almost like a book now. <laughs> and then we're going to open it back up. And using three of our tabs, so I've got one, two, three, we're going to stick them on one end. So like that. And then pull those off. Oh, fiddly, fiddly. This is why I said it gets a bit fiddly. But be patient with it. If you'll get there in the end. Okay. And then you're going to join the other side. We're going to roll it over and then press it down. Okay. So that it's connected like that. That gives us a lovely little springy lantern. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is using two more of the little tabs, we're going to pick up that piece of red card that I told you. I'm going to put one on one end, I'll peel that off, and one to the other end, peel that off. And we are going to stick that inside like this and then we're going to loop it over to the other end and now that's got we've got our handle okay our lovely handle now the next thing we're going to do is this is where the fun begins we're going to decorate it so you have got lots of different shapes here we've got stars and circles of different sizes and colors the sparkly ones and you're going to use the sticky tabs to decorate that in a minute but first what we're going to do is using these long pieces we're going to weave them through oops <laughs> come back here we're going to weave them through our lantern any way you like this is all your choice which means it's your design and it may be that you decide halfway through that you don't quite fancy it how it is so you're going to change it a bit and that's absolutely fine because there's no wrong with art, it's just your own versions. Okay, so I'm going to thread that one through like that, and I think I'm going to do my zigzag one down here. And thread that one through, and it will go up here a bit. Okay, voila. Okay, and then using the sticky tabs, I am going to stick on my lovely shape. So I'm going to start this nice sparkly gold star, I think. So I'm putting a tab on the back of it and peeling it off. I'm actually sticking, I think, sticky right there in the middle. And you're going to do the rest with all of the tabs on your shape. So feel free, go around the edges. Make sure, oopsie, make sure that you've got that lovely shape to it and enjoy your lantern. Okay, our final activity in our box revolves around this. So we need our canvas board, our paintbrush and our beautiful array of paints. And for this one, you're going to join me um, on our Zoom call next Saturday, where we are going to make the most wonderful Chinese dragon and cherry blossom painting. So I hope to see you then. Please don't worry if you're not around when we're doing the live call, because it will all go on YouTube, just like this was. Um, so don't worry, you can catch up with it whenever is convenient for you. But do try and paint along. And like I always say, please show me your pictures because I love, love, love seeing your creations so much. Have an amazing time with this. Enjoy it. Relax. Get zoned out. Have fun. Get creative. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.